Hello guys, it's Milo here and now we're up to stage 3 of the Pink Farm which is chapter 19 for the Road to Survival. Now we've just got some guys going on, that's because the chick that was tied to the tree, tried, she was definitely tied, she wasn't tried, she was tied to the tree. And um, even though I thought it was a mistake sort of saving her, it's turned out she might actually be a friend or something. You know, the whole using this as bait thing may have not been her idea. Uh, so we're just gonna let her she's sort of like a holly lookalike isn't she old emma there um so we're gonna let holly's twin emma she's we're just gonna judge her as being cool at the moment now for this stage we've got tufts so i'm going to change up my team and bring in holly for fast um at the moment i don't have too many four star fast i have the majority three stars which are upgraded so i'm gonna bring in all but one will be a three star and they uh as you can see the majority of them are third tier and one's two tier and also it's probably a bit of a change up just seeing a healer in there and Glenn's also a healer as well so we'll see how we go we've got Garrett back in there as the ally um I'm not too keen on him being an ally but nah, you don't exactly get to choose it so you're sort of stuck with it we'll see how we go with this stage it's gonna be a bit hard having all the threes uh, but we should go all right, I reckon, being that we ha do have all the fuss. The only problem is going to sort of be trying to stay on top of the healing of them. Uh, so in the first wave, we have the five people. We've got rid of three of them so far, and as you can see, re my replenishers are already down a whole lot, just trying to keep these people alive. Um, which is, I guess, a disadvantage of having the three stars is that they just, their health is just not, you know, it's not up in the 900, 800s to the thousands. It's down in the seven and six hundreds, so they die fairly quickly compared to the four stars, which, you know, I guess you would expect that. But I, I wish they would sort of bring out some three stars with some higher health, I guess, just so they could last that bit longer. I've also got Doc Stevens as the leader who gives that extra bit of health there and it's still not really helping. I've already lost one person now, that's why I bring in the smell and salts. Smelling? I meant smell and salts. Um, just so I can revive them. I think, you know, I'm up to the second wave. I don't think I'm really struggling, but I guess it's a bit of a battle of strategic, you know, of strategics here. Um, of strategics. It's a battle of strategies, okay? And you gotta be strategic. Hopefully that all made sense, because sometimes I don't think I make a lot of sense. So now I'm gonna start using my vials. I did bring them in, and I usually don't try to use them until around the third wave, which is what I did here, because I like to use them all on every single person. If you start using them in the first few waves, if you can get through the first few waves, um, then you can just start using them vials on every plane in the next few waves and it will make it a whole lot easier. Now I lost Doug. Doug seems to... he's tier 2 and he's he's definitely the downfall for this team. He just keeps dying. He just he enjoys smelling salts I think. And as you can see I'm just going to keep hitting them with them vials because that's going to be the only way I'm going to get through these last three, what, two waves left. There was three before that. It's the only way I'm going to get through it with having such a lower grade team and um, no real, I guess you could say, big healers. I've got a few big healers, big hitters. I've got no real big hitters. I've got a few healers, not really big healers either. And there we go, Doug again. I swear. That, that smell and salt must be like cocaine to him because he's loving it. Okay, now he's dead. He's dead for good. He's dead. He's no smelling them salts anymore. Doug, you're gone. Okay, you just just have to stay down now. So as I, you can see, I'm just trying to save my 
vials so that I can hit them all on the last wave. So with four, if there's five of them on the last wave, like there is five now, I'm going to be able to hit every one of them. So I only need three, so I can hit the two outsides and the middle ones with both minus attack and defense. So that's why I'm keeping the four there. I don't really need the four, but I'm just going to keep it. And I'm trying not to lose anyone else by doing it this way. We've already lost Doug there. He bloody... He just raided all my smelling salts, trying to keep his damn stupid ass alive, and then he just goes and dies anyway. <laughs> Though I'm in control of it, I blame him. I blame him, not me. It was definitely him. Okay, so we got through this last one. Pretty good. We're going to use Doc Stevens on the next wave just to heal us up, and then see, as you can see, I've just hit him, because that's the only way. Heal us up, and then just hope this is enough to get us through. Surprisingly, Garrett's done alright on this stage, um, that's a shocker I know, comparing to the most stages I have him on as an ally, he usually is the first one to die, and usually the one I'm using my smell thoughts on, but this time it was old, it was Doug, so um, he's done pretty good on this one, and now the salts have not the salts the vials the salts have also run out but so is the vials they've weared off the tear nerf gas has weared off i could hit him with another one because you could still have one of each left but i'm not really going to worry because we've only got this last person here a couple more hits one more oh done i did actually fairly well only to lose one person hmm. thanks for watching guys Ooh. Now she decides they're crazy. Now. Anyways, thanks guys. Bye.